And we're just hours away from the debate night in America between President Biden and former President Donald Trump. The two men are expected to discuss the economy, women's reproductive rights and immigration. NBC's Alice Barr live on Capitol Hill this morning with more details. Good morning, Alice. Good morning, Danita and Dave. Tonight's debate is expected to have a huge audience, and there are going to be some key controls in place to be sure American voters can actually clearly hear where the candidates stand on critical issues. In the final hours before tonight's highly anticipated face-off, President Biden and former President Trump fine-tuning their talking points. The former president's likely centered on immigration and the economy, previewed in a call-in to a campaign event with black businessmen. Inflation is a disaster. It's killing the black community. And it's killing the country. President Biden expected to focus on reproductive rights and threats to democracy. Both candidates hoping to break through with voters who are skeptical of both, so called double haters, making up nearly a quarter of the electorate. I'm undecided on both of them because, like, I don't really like what they're talking about doing. The debate offers a potential pivot point, with a new poll finding six in 10 Americans plan to watch. For a lot of these undecided voters, uh, Biden and Trump are the same old, same old. They want to hear something new. Okay. To ensure voters can hear where the two men stand on the issues, mics will be muted while the other candidate is speaking. And there will be no live studio audience, something the Trump campaign agreed to, but the former president now complains will mean a sterile, dead room. The Biden campaign setting up a war room to blast out fact checks during the 90-minute primetime showdown. And another interesting note, the Biden campaign is launching a digital strategy that includes partnering with high-profile social media content creators to be sure that debate clips that they want to see shared will be posted far and wide. Both candidates are also planning post-debate rallies tomorrow. President Biden in North Carolina, former President Trump, will be in Virginia. Danita. Well, Alice, the Biden campaign got a bump from an unexpected source yesterday. What do you know about that? This is a former Republican congressman, Adam Kinzinger, and it's unusual because he was a Republican, but not perhaps so unusual because he was also a very outspoken Trump critic. But I think it does point to one of the central tensions here, that the Biden campaign does want to appeal to maybe more centrist Republicans or independents, and they're potentially thinking of moving that direction, trying to pick up Nikki Haley's past uh, supporters. But there's also tension on the left from people who don't want to see the Biden campaign move any further to the right or even to the center. And that's something they're going to be balancing over the next several months, Danita. All right. A lot of people will be watching tonight. Alice Barr reporting from D.C. this morning. Thank you.